fake pastors will be able to lie to you because you do not understand how it operates and satan operates like that as well he manipulates people we saw that and with adam and eve when he told them hey if you do what god forbids you you are going to get wisdom you are going to get wisdom did she say will you surely die no you're not gonna die you are going to get wisdom you are going to get knowledge mm. and it's true when you sin you do get knowledge but the question is do you want that kind of knowledge a lot of people got shocked right now what do you mean yes you sin does give knowledge you develop understanding when you sin like a person who's dying of aids right now have an understanding of the consequence of ungodly sex better than anybody else this person that's taking 20 30 pills a day to live to survive they have a uh, they have a, 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 a understanding of sexual recklessness like nobody else so yes sin does bring knowledge but is it that is it the knowledge that you want so you have to understand the spiritual realm so you are not manipulated by the enemy you are not manipulated by fake pastors and fake preachers telling you hey you will be delivered you will be blessed if you give this amount of money you will give no absolutely not that's a lie number one god say you have to give from the heart and you have to give cheerfully so now if someone costs you into giving if somebody puts you into giving there's no blessing into that because that's a that's an act of manipulation taking place but when you are giving cheerfully when you are giving from the heart that's when your the act that's come from your heart is going to touch the heart of god so those of you who have kids are you going to be impressed with a child that's keep coming up to you and go give me give me give me give me no anybody who's a parent it will understand that you automatically want to do the very best for your kids so now if your kids your child is on the right path and doing what he or she is supposed to do automatically they have your heart mm. it's the same thing with god so god don't need you to keep nagging him and go give me this give me that give me god wants your heart lord i give myself to you Amen. do with me as you will that's when you're going to experience god's blessing that's how the spiritual system operate when have you ever seen anybody wealthy in the bible ask god for wealth never so abraham who was the father of god's nation was a wealthy man but abraham put god first he was ready to sacrifice his, his son isaac he was ready and god said now i see that i come first in your life i will bless you beyond your imagination your descendant will not be you won't be able to count your descendant mm. only if you could count the stars in the sky or the or the sins you will be able to count your descendants and god blessed them beyond his imagination david never asked to be king david was a man that was after god's heart david got upset when when when, when goliath spoke about god's um, um army because he had such reverence for God David said who is this uncircumcised that is speaking of God's uh, 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 army because he wanted to represent God and God blessed David made David a king God destroyed all David's enemies David did not ask for that David just wanted to represent God Solomon never asked for all the money he got all the power that he got what did Solomon ask for Solomon asked for wisdom he wanted to see things the way God see things and God blessed him with more money than anybody else power so today shift your way of thinking you want your breakthrough surrender to God because God doesn't lose so now if you are one with God understand that you yourself can't lose you yourself won't be able to lose so the key is aligning with the Holy Spirit and when you are aligned with the Holy Spirit, you got to protect the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit cannot have, uh, ha reside in an area where other spirits are, are, are coming in. So God doesn't settle for a part of your heart. He wants all of your heart. Mm. So that is why I protect the Holy Spirit. That is why I don't listen to certain songs. Hey, listen, if this, I'm at that place now. If it's not glorifying God, I don't want to hear it. So because when you are coming in alignment with these songs, guess what? You're being initiated without even knowing it. 
and the enemy knows that he knows that if i can't i can't get you to come out and go i hate god but if a rapper or a singer come out and start saying certain lyrics you're gonna sing along to it listen if kodak back black put some um a, a, a hard beat saying roll up on a demon on god but you sing along to that you singing along to that you won't come out and say i hate jesus I, I, you won't come out and say i denounce jesus but you'll sing along to a rapper saying roll up on a demon on god you may not be about the drug life you may realize that my body is a temple of god but yet you will sing a song about drug use you will sing along to i'm in love with the coco that's a song about cocaine you sing along to it you will sing along to the weekend i can't feel my face when i'm with you that's a song about cocaine so now you are being initiated in these songs and you are singing these lyrics i've seen people go yeah i, I believe marriage is between a man and a woman but katy perry come on i kissed the girl and i like it you've just been initiated you've just been initiated where's my towel i'm i'm starting to sweat up i had a towel <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm, you so that is why you got to be conscious satan is sneaky you got to understand that oh, he don't need a lot of space he just needs a, a small hole can take could sink a whole ship and that is why the bible tells you satan is the prince of the airways so anything that deals with in influence he says you need to initiate with me so that's why when you see these athletes come in automatically they get initiated by someone into uh to uh to free masonry mm. they get initiated even if you see the person talking about jesus this and that you'll see, see this you'll still see them throw this the seeing eye the 666 hmm. satan got them you are excelling in school you are at the top top universities guess what they are going to recruit you and pull you in mm -hmm. they need you to be part of that fraternity they need you to be part of that organization because you have the power to influence satan is going to buy that influence that is why no matter what you see anybody who you want to make it in hollywood you need to align because that's his house he's not going to have you be in a position of influence if you're not aligned with him Kanye West came out with Jesus fuck what happened to him after that that went out the window quick hmm. and then he started saying he's Jesus so all he was trying to do really is trying to get out of that contract that he made look up the interview with Bob Dylan how he tried to get out of the contract he did the same thing Kanye did by doing gospel you can't fool the devil you can't fool God you made that contract the only way you could get out of that life is to denounce it completely and say and surrender to God so you can't denounce Satan and yet you have his money. Right. Do you remember what happened with Judas? Hmm. Satan knew he had Judas even though he was with Jesus this and that. It's like, yo, I got you. You got my money. So after Judas made the transaction, he tried to give the money back, but the priest wouldn't take it. Yay. That's blood money. That's Satan's money. Get, get that away from me. So it's the same thing. You cannot take the devil's money and thinking that you can serve God. So all these people that's telling you, you know, they, they are Christians in, 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 in the entertainment industry. Please, name me one person that you saw that denounced sin. Name me one celebrity that you saw that told you Jesus Christ is the only way. Name me one celebrity that you've seen that's, that tells you you can't live for God if you're not willing to die for him. Because Jesus said, pick up your cross and follow me. The, the answer is zero. So it cannot, it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And as a television writer... As an actor and comedian, I've been in rooms and the Holy Spirit would tell me to walk out right while we're discussing the contract for the TV show. So that means whatever show you see me get is, was approved by God because I've walked out of many situations. So you got to understand, if God is not first, he's not in your life because he doesn't settle for second, third, or fourth. Hmm. It's all or nothing. That's the way he moves. That's the, that's the spiritual uh, system. So once you are compromised, that's it. So once the devil knew he had Judas, it didn't matter that Judas was right next to Jesus. He, mm. he belongs to me. Mm. It's the same thing with people that are in the church. 
Wow. You could go th- you could be in church seven days a week. Hmm. But devil go, that's mine right there. That's my property. That's my property. So that's why I'm here to tell you that you got to give God your all. And once you give God your all, I promise you now you're going to be filled up with faith. Now fear cannot operate in your heart anymore. The spirit of depression cannot operate in your life anymore. Now you are filled up with the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. Now you are one with the Holy Spirit. Now when you pray, the atmosphere has to shift. When you pray, demons have to flee. Amen. You could lay hands and heal people. Amen. And I've dealt with it. I've experienced it. And the Holy Spirit have used me numerous times. There's not a person that I have counseled. I'm talking about in one single session, people that were on uh, taking numerous um, drugs for severe depression. One counseling session with me, and that person no longer suffered from depression. That person no longer needed medication. That's the magnitude of the God that we serve. You got to understand, psychology is a man's feeble attempt to interpret the spiritual realm. Mm-hmm. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they don't know. You could take all the counseling sessions you want. You're not going to be healed. What they're going to do is they're going to pump you up with drugs. Exactly. And numb you. Exactly. Sedate you. Mm-hmm. So now you almost like a walking zombie. They ain't casting out no demons. Hmm. That's above their pay grade. <laughs> I remember when, when that young lady said Beyonce was doing witchcraft on her. And ever since then, her life flipped upside down. She would try to take Beyonce to court. I'm like, what is the court going to do for you? That's above their pay grade. You're trying to fight a spiritual matter in the physical realm. The judge can't help you. Jesus is the only one that could help you. Amen. And, and the crazy part about it is she missed her own court date. The spirit of confusion was all over her. Mm, mm, mm. So that's the best thing that could happen to your enemies. When you are ignorant of the spiritual realm. Hmm. And understand that I remember Like I told you All of these guys They get initiated Freemasonry As as soon as you're coming in An MBA They initiate you 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 are excelling in school Boom They pull you into the fraternities These these people are pledging To Greek goddesses So now you have a demonic alliance Mm -hmm. You made that pledge Mm -hmm. And your pastor never told you That you need to denounce that Wow. You out here listening to fake pastors, fake preachers. Don't even address the spiritual realm in the in, in, in the entertainment industry. Hmm. So understand that God is all or nothing. So those of you who have been in and out, make the decision right now that you are going to walk with God. Yes. Make yes. the decision right now that Lord, that's the only way you're going to see his uh, power. That's the only way you're going to see his authority. That's the only way you're going to see his glory. That's the only way you're going to see the miracles. Because God wants you to see what he has for you. But the only way you're going to see that is if you surrender. Amen. You can't give him half your heart. Not at all. You got to give him all your heart. Amen. So that means your kids can't come before God. Your wife, your husband can't come before God. Mm. God come first. And once you do that, now... You will see the blessing that God has for you. Make the decision right now. Jesus, I'm yours. Do with me as you will. A lot of people, they put their perspective first. A lot, a, a lot of Jewish, uh, uh, Jewish people did not follow Jesus Christ because he did not meet their expectation. They were expecting a warrior. They were expecting a soldier that was going to deliver them from the Romans. They like this humble teacher is supposed to be the Messiah, is supposed to be the Savior. I don't think so. And a lot of you, you, you lost your blessing because God did not operate according to your expectation. You have a lot of people that have lost, uh, they have lost a, 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 a great husband because the person that God had for them did not meet their expectation. He was not handsome enough. He was not tall enough. He was not educated enough. Didn't have enough degrees. And meanwhile, that man. Was the husband that God had for you. That man would have treated you better than any other man alive. There would have been other men out there that were, that could have been more handsome. That could have been taller. That could have been richer. But no other man out there would have been a better husband for you. And it's the same thing with uh, with men. You have men that have settled for whores. 
and reject the woman that God had for them. Reject a good woman that would have had his back. Reject a good woman that was loyal. Reject a good woman that's faithful. Mm. And then they, they, they hook up with a whore. Because God did not meet their expectation. Because they, the, 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 the woman that they wanted was more beautiful. Well, guess what? There are women out there that will that could have been more beautiful that could have been smarter that could have had more money but you would not find another woman that would have been a better wife for you the point is the plan that god has for you it cannot be surpassed god's plan cannot be improved it's perfect Amen. you can't do better than god not at all so stop thinking that you can that's the enemy moving so stop thinking that you are missing on something that's the trick of the enemy Satan always want to make you to think that you are losing out by not surrendering to God. You are missing out. Yeah, you are missing out. You are missing out on hell. You are missing out on the destruction that comes in when you embrace sin. You could choose sin, but you can't choose the impact sin is going to have on your life. So trust and believe. Surrender to God wholeheartedly, and you will see the glory manifest in every single aspect of His life of your life. So we are about we are out of time. We are out of time. So.